Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So this video is about what it's like being a third year medic at the University of Liverpool. I've already made videos for first and second year medic. So third year is really different to second year in that there's a lot more clinical stuff. You have seven rotations in total and there are different groups within the year and everyone rotates between each specialty differently. So my order was medicine B, medicine A, obs and gynae, Pediatrics, GP, Surgery B, which I just finished now, and then I'm going on to Surgery A after next week. 99% of your time you will be in placement, and in between each rotation there's something called an academic week. That's where you have all of your activities on campus. That's kind of like your time to catch up with lectures. You also have different timetabled activities during that week. We'll always have a CCT session um, on a Tuesday of every academic week. And that CCT session is to prepare you for the next rotation that you're about to go on and it's a full day. We'll also have four CCT sessions in total for GP. During placement you have a portfolio to complete and for each rotation the requirements are different but mostly they are very similar. So you have histories to take and usually it's a minimum of about four. When I say minimum I mean that there's also recommended numbers. You also have examinations to do, you may have certain DOPS which is like clinical skills like taking blood your analysis stuff like that all of that information is given to you on your portfolio and you have as long as you need to complete the clinical skills throughout the seven rotations and obviously you have an individual portfolio for each rotation to complete you'll also be assigned an educational supervisor like you did in second year and you have a first meeting and a last meeting the supervisor is just basically to help you and also sign you off at the end of each portfolio and you ideally need to get minimum sat satisfactory so there's unsatisfactory borderline satisfactory good and excellent but that's kind of all the placement stuff and I could go into a lot more detail on that but I'll see how much time I have in terms of other things you do so you do have a research project and thankfully this is the last year you have to do a research project because I absolutely hate that and you get given a title based on the topic you get from your research supervisor and you have to write a 3,000 word research project on it and it could be in a different format so mine was an ecological study and I got lucky with that some of my friends had to do systematic reviews which is much longer and requires a lot more research and referencing on top of that you also have to do a good doctor diversity essay that too is on the title that you choose out of a list of titles and there's also an alt car trip so if you see my first year video I've already mentioned this in that it's kind of a bit different to the first year one in that it's more sort of acute medicine based. You also have clinical skills dotted in each academic week and I don't fully remember all of them but there's like ABG, catheterization, there's also a couple of others. Definitely don't have as much clinical skills in third year as second year. The big thing that I almost forgot was OSCEs. In third year the OSCE does count and you do need to pass it in order to pass the year. So there'll be a sequence one and a sequence two. It has 12 stations in total and anything can come up. Can include data interpretation stations, history taking stations, examinations, things like that. I would really recommend kind of mastering those skills earlier on in the year because later on in the year the learning zone gets really packed and also you get a bit more stressed about revising for exams at the same time so it's just kind of balancing and prioritizing that. In terms of my overall impressions for third year I think is a lot easier than second year. When it comes to stuff with societies I'd really recommend everyone to take their chance this year. Have a lot more time to have those commitments. There is a warning though when you come back from placement you can feel quite tired and exhausted but it's a lot less intense than if you were to go for it in second year. Big thing that I forgot to mention was placement sites. You can literally be placed anywhere for your rotations. The main hospitals you can get is Royal, Aintree, Chester, Bro, Blackpool, they give you accommodation there. You can get Southport and Ormskirk. So Ormskirk, if you get put for obs and gynae and paediatrics, you're definitely going to be in Ormskirk. But I think everything else is Southport. You get Liverpool Heart and Chest, Alder Hay, Liverpool Women's. And so for further locations like Blackpool, Warrington, Southport, and I think one more, you can put a form at the end of second year to say that you're happy to travel to those locations. University are kind of strict about um, sign in, sign out, and how many hours you have at placement. If you do have any questions, just feel free to DM me on Instagram. In terms of getting to placement, so for Ormskirk and Southport, the uni have kindly organised a free shuttle bus that comes from town and also Smithdown. For Blackpool accommodation, for Wiston, I recommend getting the 
A or B, I think. In Tree, there's a free shuttle bus that goes between the Royal Liverpool Hospital and to Aintree. University also does reimburse you on your costs. Reimburse you up to £500 for all seven rotations. Unfortunately for people as far as Chester, may not get all that amount. In terms of a revision, I would really recommend doing pass med. And I would say do years three to five. When I say years th three to five, I mean do one hammer and two hammer questions. Three hammer is way too hard. It is good practice and eventually you will need to use it for fourth year and fifth year. I'd also recommend zero to finals, really good, really concise, but doesn't necessarily cover every single condition. For OSCE practice, I would recommend Gigi Medics. People want me to make more individual videos for OSCEs or certain topics, then I can do that. I feel like that's a concise version of what year three is like. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!